Hello guys, and welcome back to Awesome Overworld Music! Last we left off, we had gotten a secret exit in Mushroom Woods. And, uh, yeah, we got the exit to Midnight Heights. Something I might want to mention that I completely forgot in the last episode, though, is the fact that I'm not including the intro in this LP. It's not because it's a featured hack or anything, uh... Uh, I was meaning to ask if you guys think I should change it. Uh... Yeah, just leave a comment or whatever, or tell me what you think. I was thinking about mainly changing the music in the video. Uh, any suggestions to the change of style would be accepted as well. Uh, yeah, this isn't a despotism, I'm open to opinions. Uh, well, shoot. There's people coming up the stairs. Huh. Sorry about that, guys, but uh, fortunately, through the magical powers of video editing, uh, virtually nothing happened except for me taking this 10 seconds to explain something. Uh, yeah, let's go to Midnight Heights. Nice, fade out. This gate will only be passable when all 100 coins are collected, and my coin counts down to zero. Uh, let's go left first, because, you know, left's awesome like that. Okay. I could probably cheat and make this guy... No, I can't because he applied the enemy's count for points patch. Which is nice. I recommend using it because it makes stuff fun. At least in my opinion. And some Yoshi's Island cement blocks. It's also a nice touch. Lots of little nice touches like that in this hack. Nothing too substantial yet, though. Hmm. Ah, oh, fire flower. Wow, we're already at 40 coins. I'm gonna guess there's more level after this. Yeah, dang. We're already a good chunk of the ways through. Actually, we don't even need the shell, I don't think. Or, I don't suppose. This trampoline will prove to be much more useful, more likely. Yeah, let's go over here. I'm gonna assume this part just... Yeah. There we go. There's another springboard down there, so we don't have to worry about what happens with this one. Wow, already at 84. Okay. I'm just gonna assume that the block magically disappears. And that we don't actually have to have a hundred coins in our counter because that'd be kind of unfair. Considering that, uh, yeah, we spent them all on a mushroom. Yes, delicious green mushrooms that apparently give life. Alright. Uh, we're not gonna be going back up there, that's for sure. P-switch. That was a quick level. Now let's waste the use of a P-switch to get six stars. And some nice ending music. Huh. This guy changed everything in the hack that's music related. And we get a shortcut to yet another two exit level treetops. Some generic level names here. I find that kind of odd. Either that or I'm just paying more attention. Let's go back to Mushroom Woods and actually clear the level out. We already collected all of the... Well, I'm gonna just say Yoshi coins, but you know. Yeah, we already got all of those, so uh, no need to worry about that. Just storm through this place. Okay, I did take this path last time. I forgot. Paracoopas annoy me. I always think I'm gonna hit them. Whenever I just jump. I've gotta get rid of that paranoia. I wanna hit that block though. I think there's something good in there. Oh, that was nice, but eh, there's nothing in here except way up above all the stuff. The level. Whoa. Oh, I see what you did here. Oh, Alright. Mr. Crafty. Let's get 
continue on with this. No real difficult parts yet. I guess that's kind of to be expected, but I don't know. Just kind of odd for an LP just to be doing something like this. Oh, he doesn't freeze in midair. You missed a perfectly good opportunity to make him freeze in midair. Oh well. And this level has one exit. Crystal Lake. Let's see what shinies we can find down here. Not even any water yet. This clear azure lake is where shine sprites can occasionally be found. They make Mario invincible for a brief period of time and are obviously a reskin of regular stars. Heh. <laughs> uh. I wonder if I can jump through this bridge. Darn. I kinda wish you could. I don't like the idea of bridges being solid like that in a video game. Ah, curses. Real life physics being used. Can't jump through solid floors. Hmm. Let's see. Well, that would be its use. Okay, let's go with that. Even though this is, you know, not super tricky like most hacks that I'd be playing, uh, yeah, I'm gonna make sure that there's no tricks with these P-switches and stuff. Nice use of random Paper Mario music there. And I have to go all the way back. Well, it's not like I ever actually went on this part of the conveyor anyways. This is not too much of a backtrack in that case. I could've just spin-jumped on the fuzzy to get up there, too. Hmm. Whoa. That was a nice touch. Being very articulate about this whole hack process. Or this hack. Why do I feel the need to be more looking into detail of these things? Oh, star. Ah, oh, and custom star music. This is the same one I used in my hack, too. The heck. Oh, whatever. My hack was made afterwards. I think. Can't really accuse of copying. Not that mine's really that great, anyways. Okay, enough about me. Let's just move on with this. When do we actually get to the water part? Oh. Oh. Attention! This switch will drain the water from the lake. Only hit it in case of an emergency. Oh, it's a teleport block. And now that the water's drained from the lake, we have water in our hole. That makes sense. Still no time limit. Whoa. The heck happened to the floor? It wasn't this bad earlier. Can we go in here? Oh, okay, we can. Darn, I was kind of hoping for like a... a shiny, mostly water level. Yeah, there's a path down here. There's a path up here as well. This makes me think of that cave level in the original already. I'm willing to bet that this is a being used in that level with the before the Red Switch Palace in the original. Just a hunch. Jeez, for all the message boxes in the beginning, there isn't really too much of a plot line within the actual hack. Kinda disappoints me, but whatever. And we have beaten the level. Alright, I think our exit counter actually went up with that. No, no, it didn't. Never mind. Alright, let's go to treetops. Another two exit level. And Kirby music. And we can't stand on these things. Darn. Okay, obviously there's going to be a way to get up into those treetops. Ow. Oh. Downgrades and not, uh, just losing all of your stuff. Nice touch. But let's go over here. That's That path's too far to really ha notify any of any secrets. You can just tell when there's, like, a secret in one of those areas. And it looks like we need a P-switch.
Hmm, this is interesting. A pipe. Must have been uh, for a different bonus room. Okay, I see where this is going. Maybe we need a cape to get to that one part. There's no way we're jumping all the way up there. Yes. Okay, perhaps this is where we'll find the P-switch to get to that area that seems to be the secret area. And was I supposed to do that? Oh, I was. Probably over here. Surprisingly maze-like for a force level, I must say. These things are usually rather linear. Hmm. Could this be the secret? I haven't gotten all of the coins yet. And bonus stars don't seem to be adding up. I guess they're pointless in this hack. Which is all fine, because uh, bonus areas aren't really that useful anyways when you're playing on an emulator of saves. Okay, that was the normal exit. We could go to the giant oak, or we could uh, actually get the secret exit in treetops, which is what we're going to do. Okay, this time I'm going to run uh, across the length of this first floor area. Still no mention of Bowser in the plot yet. I get the feeling he's supposed to be revealed later in the end. Or something, I don't know. It just strikes me kind of odd that, you know, like, when these articulate hacks, you know, there's tons of attention to detail, we still got the original Koopas and Goombas instead of, well, something different. Eh, just an observation. Nothing really to gripe about. It'd just be ridiculously nitpicky. I wonder if this brings us anywhere different. I think it actually brings us to, like, the exact spot from where we fall. Alright. It's all good. There we go. Dang it! I made it up. Let's go down here this time. Ah, a P-switch. <laughs> if I had just gone right down there, I would have found that P-switch. Oh, this pipe conveniently leads us back here. Oops. Oh, it actually gives us an arrow of coins, and that was a nice shot for the shell. There we go. Puzzle solved. Oh no, just a secret exit. I guess that ledge up above us is useless in that area. Or maybe it has a coin. Nonetheless, secret area. I hope. Shard woods. I would have thought that those would be dead. Maybe birch trees are dead, I'd assume. Alright. You know what would be cool is if there was a hack where if you shot the ball bombs with fire, it'd like, uh, you know, destroy them. Like, blow them up. Uh, anyways, this hourglass has transported you to the past before this section of the force was burned. Touch it again to return to the present. And get to the better Zelda music. <laughs> Time travel and Zelda. What sense does that make? Right, since we have no time limit, I don't really have any real reason to rush through any of this area. So I'm just gonna sort of, kind of leisurely explore. Nah. Can't really say it's leisurely exploring. We need something to access. No, no, I'm going to assume that pipe's not for access. That'd be a really tricky jump. Yeah, let's go through the non-charred section of the charred woods. That makes sense. Uh, hang on a second. <laughs> 